Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today. When it comes to 2023 election, all hands are ready on deck. Every state player, uh, politicians are ready, up and running. There have been rumors and counter rumors that President Janet, a former president of Nigeria, good luck, a better Jonathan, may be running in 2023 and probably on the platform of APC. There have not, not really any been really been any debunking of that um, allegation coming from his camp but as we speak other groups are beginning to talk and they're going dating back to history warning him not to do this horewa has also even gone further to tell him some things even as far as some other groups have decided to open up on the issue of the Biafran war and what Igbo suffered and they do not want to repeat. In a moment, we're going to find out what it said and how it will play out and what the Igbo stand to lose or cry over if eventually this plays out, which means invariably we'll be looking at Biafra exit if this plays out. Well, let's go straight into the news of the day. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horowa, has won former president, good luck, Abella Jonathan, to shelve the plans of entering the race for the 2023 presidency. There are growing rumors that um, the former president has yet to declare his interest because he was yet to receive the assurance from the All Progressive Congress APC that he would run as the party's consensus candidate. Other, rumor, other rumors say that good luck Jonathan is seeking the blessing or approval of President Muhammad Buhari to join APC and grab the party's sole ticket uncontested. Addressing his supporters in Abuja a few weeks ago, Jonathan did not deny nothing the intention to run for the 2023 presidency as he told them to watch out. Jonathan stated categorically that the political process regarding his decision to contest for president in 2023 was ongoing. Many Nigerians believe that the Jonathan was that Jonathan was being used as a tool by Northern APC chieftains to reduce the number of years that South will stay in power, having served four years as an elected Southern president already. Jonathan became the first victim of the merger of some political parties and political big wings under the umbrella of APC in 2014, as he, in 2015, became the first democratically elected president of Nigeria to be defeated in an election and removed from office by a new administration. With the current administration having allegedly failed in all areas of governance and left the country almost in a state of beyond repair, it is understood that some northern APC chieftains sees Jonathan as the best candidate to certain Nigerians who they would welcome with a warm embrace. But Horiwa is warning the old River State Bond politician to avoid such a move, adding that contesting the election would be seen as reversing what happened to Igbo in River State after the Nigerian Biafran War. I quote him, he said, Our parents who had houses in the state lost all houses during the war, but my father had so many houses in the north, but they were all taken care of by a Nadana. Horiwa's Emmanuel Omwibiko said in a press conference in Abuja on Wednesday. After the 30 month old war, my father came back and collected the old collected the old rent and he got all his houses back. But River State took all, all the houses and the housing house assets belonging to Igbo people in rivers. So good luck Jonathan should not replay that hatred that showed to that they showed to the Igbo after the war because if he accepts to be candidate of APC and become the president, it means he has should change the Igbo who gave him their all. If he does that, the South South and the South East will never have peace or trust each other for life. Because what happened to us after the war in the 60s, when we lost so many housing assets, they have not been forgotten. So if he tried, if he tried a second betrayer by accepting a piece's enticement to become president for only four years, he's doing it because he wants to change the Igbos. He said, Nigerians have reacted to this in no particular order. We will take their reactions. This one here is saying, Omwebuko, leave Jonathan alone. 
fight for southern christian and young presidency and not for Igbo presidency there are many tribes in south Edo hasn't been president, Urobo hasn't been president, Efi Kibibio hasn't never been president. What do you mean by Igbo presidency? Mm. This person here said, please stop asking the question whose answer you already know. And that person said, Nigeria has three major tribes. We all know, we, we know, so don't come here to make unnecessary noise. Wazobia. Okay. This person here is saying, I, if, I often wonder if Nigerians read the book by Blah, blah 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 where he honestly stated that really that where he honestly stated what really happened during the awful mischievous tag Ibo coup in 1966 mm. we are going back to history the coup was to prevent what the fulani not planned against yorubas and install a as president we are we are aware how Ibos are paid now a queen is paid with their blood for jonathan to become president they're already paying back in their own way with their people like Reno maliciously attacking Obi's quest for presidency. Not, not only that, Igbo supported his presidency. By now, Igbo should know that none of these people are on their side and learn their lesson. Mm. This person here says, Assuming Jonathan does not run, does that guarantee an Igbo presidency? Another person said, uh, He, Jonathan, will support Igbo presidency because Igbo supported him on his, in his time. And that person here said, this is the hard truth that must be told. Now you will realize why Maz and Namdekanu kept telling the Igbos that we are not, we are not lives, we are not, I don't know what he's trying to write here, we are not lives by other, okay, we are not liked by other ethnic groups of this country. Hence, we need to be, we need to be, I don't know what he's trying to write, please pardon me. Let's jump to another statement. This person here said, all we need is a good leader, not party. That's the truth. This person here is saying the South East had never been loyal to Nigeria as a country since post independence. They have they had been on the path of breaking up that led to the civil war that what concerned the Igbo man if Jonathan is coming back as president, can someone make me understand? Please. When people say that Niger the Igbos have never been interested in Nigeria, that that's a fallacious statement. And I'll explain that. You said Nibuman is not interested in Nigeria, but yet he built his house in the north. Why didn't he just carry all his structures, all his um, assets, and build everything, clean up the, the energy they used to clean up Alaba, the energy they used to clean up um, um, northern states? If they carry it and bring it down to south, don't you think south east would be great? It would be another Dubai, small London? But they didn't do that. They said because they felt, okay, I think I will, I will thrive better in this region. Let me go there. They go there, they develop as much as they can in that region. They build assets. They don't, they don't build um, straw and a uh, hot like house. They build mansions. Especially those top businessmen. They build good houses, good good houses. They live in there. Anybody who wants to live a country, do you think they would you know, go as far as building such you know edifices in other people's region and leave their own bare? If there are people who have contributed one word or even their commercial strength has been in Debo's, cut them some slack. They've actually given their best. Just that when it comes to the political structure, they've not been allowed to play it the way they ought to. That's why we're going to wrap it up. You may have contrary view against a uh, uh, contrary view from mine. Let's meet in our conversation. What's your take?